well Mark what a big win that is in the picture of things yeah it's a great win uh, just, just to the fact that we've come to such a, a good team that are doing really really well and a real realistic chance to get an automatic promotion and, and to be as dominant we were as we were for 70 minutes takes some doing so great performance we had to hang on in the last 20 minutes we felt the pressure we stopped playing and invited pressure onto us but we managed to hold on we must have expected a fast start from them that's what we got but quickly felt our way into the game i thought we started well we we got the ball pretty quick and got a corner pretty quick and um i thought we took the sting out of the atmosphere in the game pretty early on and half time how are you th thinking things were going at that point no no yeah, we were well in the game. We were on top. We were the dominant team with, with the possession, I would think, and we just didn't create enough. We needed to be, be a bit more incisive, and uh, obviously that, that happened after half-time. That goal taught me for it. You must have loved seeing that finish from, from this area. Yeah, it was a great crossfield ball, great control from Millsy, and a great ball in, and somebody stepped over it, and Junior's bent it in the top corner. He, believe it or not, he does that every day in training, but um, great goal for it. Great for his confidence. He's just he's really come to fruition, hasn't he, in the last yeah, few games? The young boys were exceptional today. Rawson, McGinley, Mondal, you know, Brown, the young players were outstanding and um, they were doing good. You mentioned the defenders there. There was going to be a barrage towards the end. How do you feel they, they coped with that? Fantastic, all of them. Listen, every player was outstanding today and we had to stand up to it. And um, You have to do that. If you be successful, you have to defend at times. It's not all about pretty possession at times you have to roll your sleeves up and head balls out of the six yard box and be brave and Nathan McGinley, Rawson, all of them today were very good. Don't want to linger on it but how's Nathan after, after that the, the tail end of that game? He's okay, he got spat at by the fans but it seems to be the way society is now and he'll get over it. It's not acceptable though in football is it? On a day where the PFA are, are raising about racism as well I mean it's something that needs to be stamped out do you think? I'm not sure how they do it Matt it's a society in it. I'm not sure how they stop people doing that in the stadium unless they have a million stewards around the pit. George Williams come off at half time, how's he doing after that? He twisted his ankle on the on the edge of the pitch, really dangerous and did it in the first minute, so it was really sore. Quick turnaround now to Cambridge, but another chance to, to get three points and really keep the pressure on those teams above us. That's right, yeah, we we have to recover now. We have to all about recovery and hydration and everything to make sure we're ready for Monday, tough game. Winning in this kind of atmosphere as well for a young side that we've got, it's only going to hold them in good stead going forward. That's it, I think what it does, it, it, it makes team, teams worry, you know, think, I'm not sure I want to play, play, play them in the playoffs if we get in the playoffs. Um, and it puts doubts in people's mind because we're playing, we played really well today. A nice start to the Easter weekend. Brilliant, that's, you know, it's, it's great and let's see if we can finish it off on Monday.